Hello, I'm here at W Union and Sons, uh, the busy Camberwell branch, uh, to speak to Sam, the yard manager, who's going to tell me how he keeps his cars as shiny as he does. Hi, Sam. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah. So, yeah, you're going to show me about all these cars yeah, in, how they, how they get cleaned up. Yeah, you love it. Awesome. Hi, Sam. We're standing next to a nice shiny car. Um, how do you do it? Well, okay. this one's actually dirty. This is a dirty car. This is a dirty car. Okay. If you come down here, I'll show you what I mean. It's the easiest way to tell whether they're dirty or not. The wheels have brake dust all over them. We would never let a vehicle go out like that. That's, that's, that just can't happen. Next step is the snow foam. So we go along the bottom of the car, we start at the bottom. 90% of the dirt from the road is going to be in the bottom third. All right, so you've got to leave this stuff on for a little bit. Let it get into the paintwork, let it lift the dirt away. The next step from that would be the jet washing it off. Now, from the snow foam side of things, we go from the bottom up. With the jet washing, we go from the top down. And don't you use a special water for this jet washing? We do use uh, resin filtered water, um, so there is no impurities in the water at all. And how often do you have to do this process? So it's every single day the cars are washed, sometimes twice. And now we dry them, and that's a whole different process. Right. So you don't use sponges on the cars when you're washing them, but when you dry them, you do use a cloth? We do. We use microfiber cloths, all different colours and shapes, for every job. When you say every job, what different jobs are there? So you've got the wheels, the mat cloths, we've also got window on and window off cloths. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As we move along, we can then get to the door jam cloths, so we want to keep them separate really. That's a separate cloth again. From the bodywork cloths. We then got a buffing cloth that takes off any residue left on the vehicle. Wow, quite a process. It takes a while, but we've got a good team behind us, so we're all right. And after all that, we polish them, is that right? We do. It's a five stage uh, treatment, if you like, <laughs> for the cast. So we need to roughen the paint up before we smooth it out if you like. Roughen the actual paint? Yeah, so you need to go deeper than the scratches and swell marks in the paint work. After the fine, we move on to the ultra fine. So then we're done, right? No. Use this super gloss. Basically with the polishing, you're opening the paint up. Um, you need to then seal that paint again. And right. this five stage process, how long does this take you to, to do a car? Four days start to finish. Four days Four to days. do each car. And how many cars have you got? Eleven. Yeah. That is every six months. Oh, thank goodness. Right, okay. By the time I've done eleven cars, that six months is up. <laughs> well, you've got your work cut out, haven't you, Sam? You're a hero. We, we try to keep ourselves busy, but it's not, not just one man. There's a whole team of people here doing it, so a lot of credit goes to them as well. Oh, Sam, uh, great talking to you. Thanks very much. Thanks um, for coming down, then. That was great. A pleasure. I mean, obviously, pleasure. we've only just scratched the surface, so to speak, of how to clean the car. Uh, we're going to have to go inside next time. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll come back and find out how that works. Look forward to it. Back soon. All right, fantastic. Take care. See you soon.